Hey everyone, welcome to another workout. This one is a combat inspired one. It's got combat martial arts inspired intervals, just like some of the others I've done, but different sequences, different combinations today. There's no warm up, get warm. If it's still beautiful, sunshine in when you're watching this, go run around the garden a couple of times. Start with a nice gentle jog, bring it up to a faster pace, do some arm circles, some hip rolls, things like that. Promise me you're warm and then we'll begin. Right, give me some speed balls. Slow speed balls, right leg forward. Slow, with hook, start with the back arm. We'll start slow, 20 seconds, then we'll speed them up, go. Go! One, two, arms. So start with the back arm on the speed ball and start with the back arm on the hooks. The other hooks that I two 90 degree bends in the arms. Two, should we speed them up? One, right, little pulse in your feet. Two, two. 90 degree bend through the arms. So we had these in the last one. We pummel his face. Something different. Back arm, double up as now. One, two, one, two, awesome. So two from the back arm, two from the front. Uppercut, 45 degree bend in the arms. You've got seven seconds and we're gonna add a scissor. So, shall we do it? Shall we? Yeah, go. Two from the back, two from the front, scissor down. Ready, steady, go. Two, two. Now, on those uppercuts, you've got to roll with your punches. Get under his chin. Again, you don't have to go with me. You can go fast. Three, two, stop. All right then. A little bit of a rest, we're gonna put it all together. We've got speed ball, we've got hooks, we've got uppercuts, we've got scissors. Are you ready? Go, speed, hooks. Back arm uppers, and then your scissors. Go, scissor there. Nice long stride. Front heel off the floor. Speed. Hooks. Two on the back, two from the front, and scissor down. Oh, speed. Forgot my speed balls. Shaking some power, those hooks. So yeah, you're not working with a beat of music. You don't have to go eight counts, which I'm doing. And go any period of time you like, really. Which is what's great about this. You don't really have to be coordinated. <laughs> it's good. You can give those hooks as much power as you jolly well like. Right, give me some easy jabs. Woo! Okay, okay. Easy jabs. Try this. Easy jab. Elbow. Easy jab, elbow, all on the right arm. Now, easy jab, elbow, run. Easy jab, elbow, run. Easy, elbow. So it's a really sharp elbow to the side of his face. You can run easy, or you can get your knees up. You can bring your heels to your bum. You can march. Right, do it again, bring them forward, come to me. One, jump, one, jump, run. Come forward. One, jump. One, jump. Run back. Get your knees up if you can. Shoot, 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 shoot. How high can you go? Three, two, just enough time to get back. Stop. Second arm, slow speed. Back arm hooks. Easy speed. Come hooks. So do with me. I'm doing about eight counts of each with four hooks. It's up to you. How you want to go? Should you speed them up? Add a little pulse, spring your step. Release those heels on those strong, powerful hooks. Right, we've got those double uppers coming in three seconds. Back then front, ready? Steady, go. Two back, two front. 45 degrees, chin. Nice, keep your elbows tucked in. 
Roll with your punches and take that little figure eight through your waist. Okay, we're gonna add on that scissor next. Ready, steady, go, sit down. Two from the back, two from the front, and then scissor. Nice long stride on your scissor. Five seconds. I'm gonna take a little breather. Two, one, stop. All right then, all together it goes. It's a speed ball. Those hooks, two on the back, two on the front, scissor. Ready, steady, go. Give me some hooks. Uppers. Scissor down. You have got it. Let's go. Yeah. Light your feet. Give me a spring in your step. Two in the back, two from the front, and scissor. You are on fire. Now you've got 30 seconds left. <laughs> you can do this, you've got this. You've got this. 16 seconds. That'll do it, I reckon. <laughs> Go on, give me some more. Give me some more power, give me everything you've got. In six seconds, we have those easy jabs, just easy jabs. Ready, steady, go. All right, easy jabs. Take a breath. In six seconds, we go one, two, one, two, and a bit of a run. Fancy that? Let's do it. One, two, one, two, and a run. So run, jog, march, whatever you fancy. How sharp can you make that elbow? So, six seconds. We bring them all forward. Four, three, two, come here. One, jump, one, jump. Run back. Go get those knees up. Big step forward. Knees nice and high. One, yeah, one, yeah. It's almost over. 15 seconds. Go on, you got this. You're in charge of your own intensity. Six seconds, one more, yeah? Yeah, one more. Boom, boom. Two, one, stop. Awesome job. All right, let's wet your legs. Give me a squat. I'll press play now. Squat, easy peasy. Cross your arms, cross guard. Give me four squats, four, three. Take the right leg back into a lunge. A nice long stride, back heel off the floor. Then wide. So we've got a bit of capoeira inspired movements next. Oh, lovely. Just four. Drop the hips back all the way down as far as you want to go. And four. Nice long stride. Three points of a triangle. Feet wide. And then step back onto that point. All right. Cut in half. Give me two. So we go one, two, one, two. You can go as deep as you jolly well like. Now I just want this set of exercises, this round, just to smash your legs really. <laughs> That's all it is. So you get as low as you jolly well can. You've got 10 seconds. That's it, sink low. Lift your chest on those squats. So we've cut it in half. We had four. We had two. Now we have one. Ready? Steady? Go. One, one, one. Oh yes. Now it's not just a step back. I know it's tempting when it's quick like this, you can slow them down. Drop that back shin straight down to the floor on the lunge. 13 seconds. So we're gonna bring in uh, the capoeira inspired work soon. Step a little wider with your squat. Check this. Two, one. Now, it's a really wide stride. It's a lunge back, but it's fine if you want to take it more of a really long step back. But that heel comes off the floor and you bend that back knee. You've got 14 seconds left. 10. Do you want to jump them? Go on, you want to jump them? Six. That could be rainbow. Get really, really far across. Two. One. Stop. Right leg forward. Next move. Grind down your back foot and do this. Knee. Squat, knee, 
squat. Now, I don't know if you can see clearly in this one, but my front set, my front heel is off the floor. My back heel is firmly down, and that's where I'm pushing my body weight in that back leg. Drop as deep as you can, lift your chest. Next up, kick, drop, kick, drop. That's it, sit low. I want those legs to burn. So the intensity is down to you, right? We're gonna incorporate the shinger with the knee and kick. What do you reckon? In three, two, let's go that way. One, go. Knee and kick. Shinger, knee and kick. So the back leg comes forward with that knee and kick. Give the knee of the kick a bit of power, especially the knee. Give me a kick. Yeah, a bit of a snap. You go faster than me, you go slower than me. Oh, I've done two kicks there. <laughs> Go on, big powerful legs. How far can you jump? Show me. You don't have to jump, you can just step. Two, one, stop. Bring your right leg forward. Check this. Back kick, step, jump. Back kick, step, squat. Back kick, step, squat. Back kick, step. Squat. Any speed you jolly well like. So there's actually two squats in there. There and there. Back kick, hips nice and square to me. Bit of a decoy squat option. You can just walk from side to side. 25 seconds. Show me how long you can go. Your legs should be on fire right now. 10 seconds. Right, we're gonna bring our left leg forward in four. And we're gonna do the knee and the one legged squat. Two, stop. Knee, squat, knee. Let's bring the heart rate down, but let's keep the work in the legs and the glutes. That's good. Sink your body weight to that back leg. Four, three, kick two, go. How are we feeling? <laughs> We're looking good. Sink, flick. So we've got one more bit to put together. We've got the shinger, we're going that way. And we have the knee, and the kick from the back leg, yeah, got it? Three, two, go. Knee, kick, yeah. Big jump. So how low can you sink into this here, this lunge? 30 seconds left, and this one is done. Stay with me, 15. It's a great one. You can make this one as hard as you like. You can step, <laughs> or you can jump. You'll want to jump, right? Five, four, two, stop. Yes. That round's done. We're on fire. Hang on, let's see what's next. All right. Next one. Right leg forward. Double jab. Claw, back arm, claw hand, gouge his eyes out. <laughs> yeah, 20 seconds. Ready? Go. One, two, claw. One, two, claw. Now those two front arms are really fast. In and out, choo -choo, lightning fast. Not that, not that, all the way up. Let's add on two back knees now. One, two. One, two, boom, one, two, choo, choo, claw, ta, ta, choo, choo, claw. Go and give that claw some power, gouge it out. Yeah. Ta, ta, ta. Big jump, or do you want to keep it grounded? Three, two, we take a rest, stop. Right, next up, your right leg's still forward. We're gonna step, kick, hold, 
Little jump back. Step, kick, hold, jump back, go. So you go quick and go slow, as always. So step with your back leg and kick with your front leg. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You might know what's coming next then. <laughs> you might. You may want to stay with this or you may want to jump kick. They give you two pulses back or you can do four quick ones. That is. Swing that back leg and drive that front leg forward to push him forward towards me. Two, one, stop. All together. Double claw, two back knees with a jump kick. Four, three, two, go. Jump kick, swing, boom, back, claw, knees, jump. So don't worry about the beat, the speed I'm going. I just want you to focus on your own rhythm. That's the beauty of this kind of training. It's not working with the music. So you know you're on page, you go faster than me. You can work harder than me. How much power you got in that kick? 25 seconds. Yeah, we got 25 seconds left. Claw. How powerful is that claw, eh? Do you need to come there? Or can you carry on jumping? Go on. penultimate round. Looks like this. Jab, cross, jab, cross, block. 
and an elbow. I'll show you again, right leg forward. Jab, cross, jab, cross, block, elbow. The block is with your palm. Stop him right there in his tracks. Ready? One, two, three, four, block, elbow. The elbow comes from the back arm and it is sharp. It is like a scalpel. Yeah, slice, trip down his eyebrow. 10 seconds. And we're gonna go with continuous left knees. That's your back knee. Continuous, don't stop. Any speed you like, go. All right, use those arms. Jump, jump, option, no jump, stay low. And use your arms like that. Big jump, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, it's not aerobics. Use those arms and give it a whack, give it power. Now we've got some street balls. We're gonna use your left arm to take the street balls. Go, four, three, uppercuts right. Four, three, two, left street ball. Right. He's on the floor. Remember with a street ball, you've got to release that left heel. Release, release, turn your hip. And four, three, roll with them. Yeah, I want your waist. Go on, how hard can you hit him? Two, one, stop. Okay. Same side. Right leg. One, two, three, four, block, elbow. Are you ready? Are you steady? Go. So same side, it's not round two just yet. So this is your Muay Thai inspired track. This one's gonna fire up the old ticker. It's also fast and it's dead powerful, especially with that back elbow. Continuous knees, left, go, go. Go with or without the jump, you can give me the jumps. 14 seconds. Do you remember what's next? In eight seconds, your left arm is gonna take the street ball. Four, three, two, go. Four, three, right arm uppers. You've got to smash his face with every ounce of energy you've got. He's on the floor. Might be five then. <laughs> One more. Right, how about a couple of running man? Yeah? Right, left, go. Right, left, right, left. 30 seconds of them. Option. One, two, or swing your hips. A little crunch. Use your arms. Give me some power and pull him down. 50. Got more. Yeah, yeah.
of these. 20 seconds of these. And then we do 30 seconds for the next one. And you remember what's coming. We've done it a couple of times now. It's our second nature now. Right, ready for those continuous knees? Right, go. 20 seconds of these. And then 30 seconds of the street ball combo. Go on, grab him, pull him. 10. Seven. So we're gonna street ball with your right arm this time. Four, three, two, one. Up as left. Great for your waist. Those uppers, especially when you come from this position, really get an opportunity to work it. 15 seconds. Nine. Six. Do you fancy some running then? <laughs> right. Let's go right, left. Ready? Ready? Go. Okay. Running man to the end. You have 23 seconds left. So it's 30 seconds of these black boys. Do not give up. You are not allowed. You are not allowed to stop. You're allowed to take it down, but you are not allowed to stop. Go, 10. Seven. Come, turn it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Right, we have one more. Let's see what's next. Cross, right leg forward, slow. Let's start slow, let's get our heart rate down. Last bit of exercise then, last uh, round. Easy, right, left. So this one is devoted solely to boxing. Let's speed them up. Okay, 20 seconds of speed. That's it, let's have a look at those. That's it, everything you've got. <laughs> speed, full range, yeah, turn and roll through your waist. Now, in eight seconds, we're gonna go this. One, two, three, four, hook, hook, front arm, go. So, four, jump cross, and two, hooks from the front arm. And on the hooks, to get that power and that range, release your right heel, 15 seconds. Now in seven seconds, we're gonna do this one. Up, hook, up, hook, up, hook, up, hook, up, hook, up, hook. Easy peasy. Just take it easy for 12 seconds. Bring that oxygen into your body. Let me do this. Up, hook, up, pulse. So back arm leads. Front arm is a hook. You got two uppers, both from the back arm. Now, 10 more seconds of these. You can make the pulse as big as you like. Nice and low in your legs, nice soft knees. Check this out. Hup, hup, hup. Jack, jack. It's a cross jack if you're comfortable to go there. You don't want a cross jack if you don't want any kind of jack at all. You take a squat. But remember, this is our final round. 10 seconds, six, four, two, and stop, right then. Give me a skip, or you can just stop and take a breather. You can do some of these, or some of these fancy heel digs. Keep going, keep going. We're gonna put it all together. So if you remember, it goes like this. One, two, three, four, hook, hook, hop, 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 jack, jack. Got it? Ready, steady, go. Can you remember all that? I reckon you can. Or two hooks. Did I do it right this time? Can't remember. Whole minute. This takes some thinking about, some getting used to. When you've done this vid a couple of times, it'll be second nature and you'll be able to get faster at it. So don't worry 
if right now you're not very quick, you will be. Especially if you've never done anything like this before. Ten seconds. I reckon we'll squeeze another one into ten seconds. In fact, I reckon we'll squeeze another one. Go on, squeeze it in. Yeah. Stop. Switch. Easy, slow. Should we speed them up? Whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready, go. If you're not ready, keep them slow. Straight down the midline, nose, lip or chin. Take that little uh, movement through your body. Brace your abs lots. All right. Eight seconds, then we do this. One, two, three, four, hook. Hook, you remember that? Ready? Go! God, you are almost done. You've almost done it. Keep going, keep going, don't you stop. We're gonna do this. your lot. That's your lot. Done. Okay, six seconds. So we've got four, two hooks. Hop, 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 and two jacks. Ready? Steady, go. Let's do it a minute. Back arm. Jacks. Option, of course, is a squat. Or you can march. This minute's dragging on in it. <laughs> but you know it's your last round and we're almost there. 17 seconds and you have finished. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Gone seven. Finish it. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Two. One. <sighs> You're done it. <laughs> Let's take a stretch. Walk it out, shake it around if you need it. <sighs> Use your stretch, dead simple. Come towards, nose to knees, soften your knees. Let go down the back of your legs and into your spine. Relax your shoulders. And rise, bring your heel into your bum. So remember to do this with uh, proper trainers on, won't you? Don't do it with your feet, you'll hurt your feet. You'll hurt your ankles. As I always say, it's because I've got white carpet. I inherited the carpet. I would never, ever put white carpets in a house. <laughs> That's madness, especially with kids. So that's the front of thighs, take this leg back. Back heel off, bend the knee, tilt, arm across, so. How are we getting on in isolation? Are we doing all right? We're doing good. I know. It's an unprecedented time, but we're 
working with it. We're doing it. We're getting through it. Other one. Back heel off. Bend. So that'll sort your hips out. Your arms. Arms. So as I always say, I give you the bog standard um, stretch and you take what you want from it. You can stretch yourselves at the end. You can go on and find a nice stretch class on YouTube. Um, I could do one, I could do one. Open your arms, lift up to sky. Right, you have done it. Open up, take a bow, and give yourselves a round of applause. Mwah. See you next time.